Hey, welcome back and welcome back to Wonder Snatch. Today we're going to do one of my other favorite queens from season 12, Rockam Sakura. She was one of my favorite queens from the show because, of course, I always stand the Asian queens. Unfortunately, she went home second. Spoiler alert. But I'm going to recreate one of the looks today and I'm going to try to look like a beautiful anime princess. So if that's something you want to see, please like, subscribe to my channel and ring the bell and leave a comment and stay tuned. You're gonna I've got see the video go running from... down here and watching her. This. I think she's Vietnamese to Filipino. This. Oh. Oh. Whenever I do my makeup, I like to make sure I take off all my clothes. I make sure to get ready butt ass naked. So we're I think she got self butt ass naked. So okay, I've popped off my shirt just like she has. I promise I'm wearing shorts and I've blocked my brows and my side burns just like her. I'm not going to do face tapes today. I don't think we need it today because the features are so exaggerated. We don't really need to, you know, do all those nipping and tucking. And now she's going in with her foundations and I'm, I'll do the same with my 2W as my base all over the face. To get like a good gradation, you can fine tune with your powders later. And once it's all on there, we're gonna go ahead and take our beautiful Gay Beauty Blender and we're just going to beat that in. So I get to the neck, I just swipe it downwards because when you do this, it kind of feels like someone's punching you in the throat. So I'm gonna- To this, she sketches out. on her face with a brown, um, with a brown makeup pencil. And for that, I've got this uh, Makeup Forever uh, Artist Color Pencil in Endless Cacao. Okay, and we're going to try to copy her face. This is like complete anime. And it's really exaggerated anime. That you go over the top, you go big. If you wanted a refined and clean version of this, you want to look pretty, do a Trixie Mattel tutorial. If you want to look like Kim Chi, if she had a lot less talent and was a lot more bloated, watch my tutorial. And now that you look utterly terrifying, we're gonna use like this really, 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 really dark. And now she's doing contour a contour. Shape. And I'm gonna do a little rainbow up here. Those I like to make sure that whenever I do my makeup, it's really geometric. I like to have very exaggerated looking lines. I'll do a lot of contour right here, just in the center of the nose. We're gonna blend it out in a second. Don't worry. So now that I got the contour on, we're gonna go ahead and blend that. For the cheeks, I like to keep that hard line, but I'll blend it upwards. There we go. And now it's time to refine everything with our highlights. She's refining with highlights. And if you can't get your container open, just use your teeth because I'll be using... they don't look good anyway. I like to take a small concealer brush. So she does it all in a small concealer brush. And today for my highlight, I will be using Meron Clown White. I bought this about three years ago and I barely scratched the surface. So we'll be using this today as our highlight. See where she puts it. She does this band like all the way nice up and silhouetting the nose here. Right here with the contour. Once everything's on, make sure that you take your beauty blender and let's just refine that again. Uh, and you can already see the woman coming through. I'm a woman! She's coming through and she's coming through hard. So the next step right now is we're gonna take our mid-tone and we're gonna refine all the things that need How's to be done. How's that look? Done. Refining with mid-tones. So when I'm using five W as drag, a mid-tone. A queen had come up to me and went, wow, you look gorgeous, you're so pretty. It must be so easy because you're Asian. You already look like a woman. And I, I was like, Excuse you, just because I'm Asian doesn't mean I'm not trying hard. So I wanted people to know how hard I was trying with my makeup. Let's go ahead and set this down with powder. I'll take one of these like art brushes that you can get from the dollar store and just press it. Now she into is these setting with powder and she's using the white to really set the angle and I'm using this horrible little witch the thing. The more you let it sit, the, the more it's gonna bake into your skin. Now mid -tone, that I I'm going to use my usual powder, translucent I'm go in with my powder. We can powder. Just put this, and this is a mixture of a whole bunch base. of powders. I can't remember which ones now. I deserve this. Take a nice, big, fluffy brush. And now she's contouring on a, with a straight and edge. Go so I'm going to use my card also on a straight edge with my and then I'll um, go Studio Fix M45. And I'll bring it right here, just on the end, to create the illusion of depth. This side turned out a lot better than this side. 
Now we're gonna go ahead and add some blush to that. I'm okay, uh, intensify the together. corners a little bit with some brown oh, okay. eyeshadow. Right. And now Here she's going in road. blush from the Santa Fe palette. These Here three shades make a perfect orangey right shade. Where we did our contour this time I'm just putting okay, it in the same places that she does. Shade. Basically, I'm gonna go right cheeks. Here. Whatever is residual on that brush and just add it into the rest of the contour. A small bit of blush is gonna really pop and add some color to your face. Let's get in on that nose. So, take your darkest powder right here into the corner at the top of the nose and here again near the tip at the bottom. So once I have my darkest shades on, I'm going to go ahead and add my favorite color. <laughs> going back to white. white. <laughs> I use a cream foundation when I do my white. Just review it, look at your face as a whole and see if the silhouette kind of matches. Take a very, very super white powder. When I first started doing drag, I used baby powder to set all of my white. And besides smelling like a baby's butt, I'm sure there is lots of health risks. Blend that in with some regular powder. Now we're gonna refine it one more time. And then she refines. I like to get it nice and the nose contour again, and I'll be using an angled well, brush for that. Going, going back into white. my Sage. A liquid eyeliner is more concentrated. What eyeliner? I've got my Stila. Now we're going to go back in and deepen the contours again. Last part. Take that same white liner. Just do a little dot on your nose. Next level of nose okay. contour. Get it now. Oh. So what we're going to do with our boobs today is we're going to do the... And now she's doing her boob contour. And, and I'll do the boob contour off camera since you can't see it anyway. And I'll be right back. I've done the boobs just like her. And she's saying that most people have done the boobs I've in the wrong place before and I've, I've been here. there too. I've, I've had here. boobs too high, boobs too low, boobs too wide. But I think I f finally found the right placement for them. So we'll see later. Okay, now she's moving on to So what eyes. we're going to do is we're going to take our little cream palette that is gross and dirty. Don't you dare zoom in on this palette. We're going to put a base down of all these different colors. Just she's using her Makeup Forever there. Flash palette. In between your colors, clean off your brush just a little bit, but not too much. If you leave a little... And while Rockham is doing mainly a pastel rainbow, I'm going in for more of a peach pinky tone. So I'll be using the same Makeup Forever Flash palette and sticking mainly to the... Um, peach, pink, yellows. Okay? Okay, and she just follows this fake crease that she produced. Then once all your colors are on, I'm gonna set that with my white. And she sets that with her white. So you can kind of barely see the colors, but you know where the colors are. And with a light... Okay, and now she goes in with the corresponding <laughs> colors. And for that, I'll be using my Morphe Icy Fantasy Pastel Colors. Going in with the uh, orange, coral cloud. Manga inspired, very graphic. Do a color switch and then into the coral pink. Sky high. Ethereal. I have so many outfits. I'm ready the yellow, so I'm going to go into my colored rain palette, lemon drop. Let's blend them into the That line that we had and before. She cuts the crease. Press, Press stamp. Base. All right, whoop, whoop. Set that with the and then she lines. sets that with the white and then goes in with the black liner. Really, really, really black and you don't want to mess up. Okay, so I've got a paint brush and I'm going to use this gel liner just to outline this wing that we did earlier. And what I want to do is I'm just going to outline the shape first. I'm going to I'm going to um, that revive this with a little bit of Inglot Duraline. And once you've got it all lined out, you just fill it in. Oh, it looks so good. I'm so happy. Thank God I did not mess up one. Okay, I'll do the other side off camera and I'll be right back. So I've done both sides, the eyeliner, and now she goes back in with the white to fit in this bit underneath. This is the most I've ever used to clown white, putting it to good use. Once you got your shape, you're going to go ahead and take a nice dome brush. What I like to do is I put it in the shadow, and because it's round, it goes okay, into and the contour of your face. We're gonna do the same shadow on top, underneath. I'm just. And she repeats the colors on the top at the bottom. So going back in with my pastel shades. Light touch. With this color, I'm gonna refine this bottom edge right here and make it look more linear. Ugh. 
lightly and then she brings the black down halfway across from the top just a little bit into here the lower lash line so about halfway through is when i stop the black i'm gonna take this small little brush that we were using for the shadows earlier and blend that shadow down do you feel like a trash fire with makeup on we're actually gonna go on to our next step, which is kinda eyebrows. So for brows, she doesn't really do an actual brown. She goes in with a clown white yet again and does a fakish underbrow highlight. So it looks like there's a brow above it. Okay, so using the clown white, I'm just going to. I'm gonna use my finger to blend this down. Just like with everything, we're gonna set it with that white powder. Next thing we're gonna do, now that we're done with our eyes, is our lips. Okay, so she, using mud slide, I'm gonna draw the lips as she does. We really want the lips to be in proportion, in proportion to the eye, so we're just gonna, there's a cross X here. I like to do a little clown flick up here, make it a little bit more full. I like to do a cross right here, because it makes it more even for me. Now that we're all mapped out, let's do the highlight. And she does the same kind of a highlight again with the clown white. Using lots of clown white today. She highlights the top of the lip, just a bit like how Gigi Good does hers. Alright, everything is lined. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my eyeliner That's in from the sides. Yeah, These shadows the start here, the just on the corners, are going to make it look like my lips right here on this side are pushed back. Get in there with your finger. So I'll be using... Um, this Ultra Satin Lip by a Colourpop and Bretman Rock. Okay, it's almost like a nudie peach. To kind of contrast with the very, very matte. Okay, and she sets that all with powder. So, so I wanted to have a little bit of an orange hue. So I'm going to use the orange from the Coloured Rain palette to set that in the middle. You're caught in your hair, you're trying to lip sync. I've set the base foundation now. And what we're going to do is we're going to darken up the sides again, but with powder. Now I'm highlighting my lip. More white cream. And what I'm doing is I'm taking white more. and I'm hugging that liner up top. Just lightly and feathering it out. Blend it out. Yeah, and she intensifies and that with more white powder. You can just pick up white powder that's lying around everywhere. Intensify the colors again with the orange. Again, I chose the right career. And I'm just going to gradiate it into the darker points of my face. We're going to clean it up. Okay, now she's gone into highlight and jewels. For highlight, I'm going to use this Morphe highlight just palette. Just at the top of my cheeks, right over here. Neron spirit gum, I'm just going to put a little bit onto my palette. And you're okay, and yeah, how she does. She just dots it. Cream dries really fast. I'm gonna place them on there. I wish I could love myself as much as I love these stones on my face. Now we're gonna add my last one. And now for glitter, I will be using glitter. some of this um, glitter, glitter from I'll Salon Black. I'll be just putting that on my cheeks. And, and after that, I'll just be popping on some lashes that I made myself. So I've made these lashes and I'll be right back with the finished look. And I'm back! This is the finished look with my wig that I styled myself and my lashes which I made myself too with little rhinestones glued onto the ends. And I feel like an anime 1920s flapper ready for the follies or something like that. So I'm going to take some pictures for Instagram. Follow me there at Wondersnatch and like, subscribe, share this video with your friends and please subscribe to my channel and leave a comment. It really helps me grow this channel. And I'll see you next time. Bye! Cue the montage.